now it's time to install this KTEC belt tensioner. So why am I installing this? Well, I chucked a serpentine belt merging on the freeway a few weeks ago. So this solid belt tensioner is used to avoid that. It's designed for sustained high RPM use and is found in most of all the spec Corvettes. The first step is to remove the old serpentine belt. This one got run over like 10 times after it yeeted itself. The tensioner's M12 bolts are removed. Now the new tensioner and the two spacers are installed. So the drawback of this tensioner is that the belt tension itself needs to be checked every few races. Not a big deal for me, but maybe a big deal to other people. The tensioner bolts are then torqued to 37 pound-feet. I found that a belt that was one inch shorter fit a little better since I have a 10% underdrive damper. The belt is routed and then looped around the new tensioner. A 15mm socket is put on the rear of the tensioner and a torque wrench on the front. After reaching 25 pound-feet with the torque wrench, you then tighten the back bolt down. Once that's set up, you fully torque the bolt on the back to 40 pound-feet. So this catch can is almost in the way of this new tensioner, but that won't be a problem because I'll have a new video soon installing a different catch can. I started up the engine and looked for any issues like belt misalignment, and I didn't find any, so that's good. If you stayed this long, thank you for watching this video. I know I've been a little bit lazy with videos of late. I've gotten very busy and then I've started running out of ideas for videos.